I have now become a roach. Hi. And this roach has a dream to start his very own cafe. You may be wondering why I look like this. Well, long story short, I lost from a bunch of 9 year olds in a drawing game. <sighs> Not my proudest moments. Well, let's see for the next 7 days is that will this roach run a successful cafe or not? I started with naming my restaurant the roach because, you know, the roach. Like, oh, that sounds fancy. If you put the like before like a name, that sounds a lot fancier. Since it's still in the middle of the season and, you know, I just want to make an excuse to make a Christmas video, I chose the Christmas cafe. Okay, let's go. Hello, customer. Welcome. Uh, don't be afraid. I'm just a friendly cockroach with very hairy legs. Look at them. Yeah, you have to really appreciate those ha legs. They're they're pretty hairy. <laughs> okay, a table for two. Yes, ma'am. Here, take one. What do you two couple want? May I get a carrot soup? Okay, so let's go make some carrot soup. This is honestly a bad idea to make a video <laughs> during this time because right now it's literally almost midnight and yeah i'm hungry i noticed that my customers were ordering international food which there's nothing wrong with it having diverse food is cool in a restaurant but this is a christmas cafe not a buffet so i went and decided to pick two menus for my cafe a holiday menu because you know christmas and filipino food why filipino food well you know during the holidays is very iconic so that's why i chose it for my first day though it was pretty slow but you know i have to let it slide because it's my first day while i was making pancit canton which is a filipino noodle dish i noticed that there was something wrong with it that's not pancit noodles what even is that what is that Ugh. that looks like sad plain old rice then this guy made the most hideous crime to eat halo halo, which is a Filipino dessert, with a fork and knife. I'm so jealous. Why are you eating it with a fork and knife? Wait, I realized no, that is illegal. Dude, so get out. I wanna say that even though we're stunning fresh in this culinary industry, I know this is the most annoying part of starting off a restaurant, and that is delivering dishes to customers around one by one which I kind of wish I invested on a waiter, but we're still broke on that. So instead, I bought myself a tray. Then for my next investment, I bought a couple of tables and chairs to have more customers in the cafe. Cause you know, in the culinary industry, more customers means more money. <laughs> At the end of the day, I have earned myself $125, which wow, we really didn't make a lot. But, you know, you have to realize, like, I bought two things for the restaurants. So, yeah, my bank account went down with that. But, you know what? Let's do better in the next day. Which, my goal is to hire a waiter as early as possible. Because, boy, doing this delivering food thing is tiring. <laughs> While I was prepping for food, I randomly encountered this. Oh, I, I, what, what's going on with my legs? After that quick exercise, I was dealing with this person's order. But, for some reason, she doesn't want to take it. Spring... We say spring rolls. Hello? Ma'am? You don't want to use spring rolls? Oh no, I can't get it out of my hands. Get it out! G girl, take it! Take your order! Please! Take it! Somehow, after I restarted myself, she magically had the food on her hand. W was there something wrong with my food that you literally have to bring your own food, which is the same food that I made for you? Jeez, you could have told me about it and not waste my time, lady. I'll say though, the second day is still as slow as yesterday. But I, this is inefficient. Why am I? I studied from culinary school and this is how slow I am. This is just embarrassing. But somehow with that, I did grind enough cash to hire myself a waiter. Finally, I can just relax and let the waiter slave off. I'm, I mean, you know, help out the kitchen <laughs> uh, on his own will. Then when the day was almost over, someone just walked in and it was a VIP customer. On the second day? Well, that was pretty lucky. Then on day three, I got to make myself a honey glazed ham, which I will say it looks kind of depressing. Um, is that what it is? Oh, it's kind of disappointing. You know, I have to warn you that my cooking skills aren't that great, okay? Quality food, who is she? While I was minding my own business, this guy came into my restaurant with an arm that looks like it got a lot of use off. <laughs> mm. That's kind of nasty. Yes, I I know it's, ter it's shockingly to hear that a cockroach is doing stuff. Well, anyways, this guy just came here to compliment my outfit, which was honestly pretty sweet. What a sweet guy he is. Then suddenly, a celebrity just shows up at my restaurant. Um, okay, a celebrity just came in. We got Post Malone here. What, I really 
but I don't think that's Post Malone. <laughs> Hope I didn't offend any artists like that. I didn't have enough cash to hire myself a chef to, you know, get more help with the kitchen, okay? Seriously though, taking care of a business by itself is tiring, okay? After some time, the guy just came back to give me a thumbs up in my cafe, which, oh, how sweet. Then he laughed at my cafe name, which I don't know if I should be insulted because I'm a cockroach and, you know, cockroaches have feelings. But, you know, I just laughed it off because it was kind of funny too. <laughs> I can't believe I laughed my own joke. <laughs> then on day four, I added more tables. But since there wasn't really any more space in the cafe no more and expanding this restaurant cost money. So I just bought a couple of tables with one seat. It's called being cost efficient. Though it doesn't really give me back much money in return. So yeah. Right now, business is going pretty smoothly, but it could go even bigger. So I added even more tables, cause why the heck not? The kind dude just came back to my restaurant and then he asked me if I can help out with the restaurant. He said that somehow he is some sort of a restaurant entrepreneur and that he can make my business fly. Cause you know, roaches fly and he was making a pun. Anyways, <laughs> I decided to decline his offer because, you know, I'm an independent cockroach and I can do this business on my own. After I said that, he just emoted me and gave me a sensor bar which probably means he giving me the middle finger and left. Anyways, on day 5, I made another investment to buy myself a basic advertising to get the roach out there. You know, I need more people. So I went out to put my basic advertising on a billboard. Well, the arrow was pointing me to the billboard, so in the middle of walking, I got a notification that my food was burning. So I hurried it up for my restaurant to burn into flames, but you know, it would be worth it because, you know, my restaurant will be put on a billboard. It was just a poster. Now, let's go back, teleport back to my restaurant. Go, 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 because my food is burning. Ah, my food is burning. Anyways, another VIP customer came in. Oh, look at that. He's golden. Oh, he is bought loaded rich. That's how you know if someone's super rich, if their top hat have a golden layer to it i then cheer up my little helper chef to prep the food faster okay come on dude you could do it you can uh, i believe in you then the vip customer went out and gave me a 2.6 stars which makes me realize that my first vip customer didn't rate me at all wait did he pay me he then gave me a blue cover for my menu which i instantly put it in then on the next day, it was a really good day though. We're making a lot of money and all that stuff that is, you know, good for the restaurant. This makes me realize something that there was something missing in this cafe. Then I figured out that there is no Christmas tree. I mean, we do have some in the cafe, but they're kind of honestly pathetic. So I then decided to invest on a big tree in the middle of my cafe. There I go. This is our Christmas tree, guys. Actually, you know what? Let's upgrade this holiday tree look at that now it's perfect then when i thought the challenge was over i remembered that we're still on day six. Oh, i guess we're done with the seven day challenge oh actually no it's still day seven i then got another vip customer which this time gave me a good review and an item that i already have so thank you for that then i decided to hire another chef for the restaurant because you know why not because this chef will be the one that will take care of the restaurant when i become human again then when the day was almost over, one of my chefs did something unexpected. He gave me a hug, which I almost got teary-eyed. Oh, wait, are you hugging me? Oh, maybe because he wasn't hugging me and he was most likely cutting something in the air. But you know, let's pretend he was hugging me because you know, it's more and more emotional like that. And that's that. Day 7 is finally over. Yeah, look at that. My restaurant has finally grown. And you want to know how much money I earned? From 7 days, I made almost 2k. Look at that. 2k dollars, you know, as a starting roach chef. That is impressive. Give myself a round of applause. So yeah, finally I can be free from this cockroach outfit. Let's go change that. Boom, look at that. I now finally a human again. Honestly, that was a lovely experience being a roach. Will I do it again? No. 